Welcome to Waterline Academy, my name's Paul and in this video about your Paddy Open Water Diver course, I'm gonna show you how to scuba dive in under five minutes. So if you're new to scuba diving or just looking to refresh your skills, consider subscribing to this channel for weekly videos on scuba diving skills and tips. Let's dive in. One of the most important skills you're gonna use on every dive is clearing your mask. To practice clearing your mask, let some water in. You can do that by breaking the seal at the top of the mask and letting the water trickle in. Take a long deep breath, hold the top of the mask to make sure no air escapes. Breathe out through your nose while tilting your head back. That'll make sure that the water drains out the lowest point of the mask. Your mask should now be clear. If it's not, simply repeat the process until it is. Before we get into equalizing your ears, if you're finding this interesting and are considering taking a diving course, stick around because in a moment I'm going to tell you how you can start your open water diver course for free no matter where you are in the world. If you'd like to watch the full length version of this video, I'll leave a link in the description or you can click the button on the top right corner of this video now. Let's get into the next skill. You'll often hear divers talking about equalizing their ears. In actual fact, they're talking about equalizing their eustachian tubes. The Volsalva maneuver is simply blocking your nose and blowing gently against your blocked nose. If you do that now, you'll feel your ears pop. That's because air is being forced into your eustachian tubes from your sinuses. As you're descending, it's really important to equalize early and often. The next skill on the list is clearing your regulator. There's one really important part to clearing your regulator and that has to do with equalizing the air in your lungs. If you take a breath from your regulator and then ascend, the air in your lungs is going to expand. If you don't release that air, at a certain point your lungs are going to rupture. And so the most important part about clearing your regulator is that you must not hold your breath. And in order to do that you need to blow a small stream of bubbles a lot like when you're whistling. To practice clearing your regulator, take a long deep breath. Hold the regulator on the hose and take it out of your mouth. Remember to blow a small stream of bubbles to ensure your airway is open. Hold the mouthpiece of the regulator facing downwards. That'll make sure that the regulator doesn't free flow. The regulator is going to fill with water. So when you put it back in your mouth, you need to clear the water by blowing out into the regulator. Earlier in the video, I said I would tell you how you can start your open water diver course for free no matter where you are in the world. PADI is one of the largest certification agencies in the world. And there are others like SSI, which is Scuba Schools International. While PADI charge you to start the theory section of your open water course, SSI recognized that it's inexpensive to deliver digital media in today's day and age. And so they make the theory section of your open water course free. And in order to access that, all you need to do is follow the link that I've set up in the description of this video. Set up an account on the MySSI website and you'll be able to download the MySSI app. In that app, you'll be able to start the open water theory section for free no matter where you are in the world. That app will also give you details on your closest dive center where you'll be able to take the pool dives of your open water course. So if you're interested in taking your open water course, then click on the link below and set up an account on the My SSI website. We're about to get stuck into the next skill, but before we do, I wanted to let you know that I've recently set up an online store with a wide range of scuba diving designs on t-shirts. Please support this channel by buying a t-shirt for yourself or as a gift for another scuba diver. The proceeds from that store go directly into making better videos on scuba diving skills and tips, just like this next one. Let's dive back in. Being neutrally buoyant underwater means that you can drift over the reef without having to swim to stay at a certain depth. To start practicing your buoyancy, let all the air out of your BCD so that you know that you're negatively buoyant. Then add a small amount of air and take a breath to see how that's affected your buoyancy. If you're still negatively buoyant, add some more air and take some more breaths until you feel your knees lift from the pool. When you feel your knees lift from the pool as you breathe in and touch the pool as you breathe out, that's when you're neutrally buoyant. You can now swim around the pool and enjoy floating like they do in space. If you found value in this video, then click the link to this video to explore more scuba diving skills and tips. 